Thank you, uh, Madam Acting Deputy President. Um, and uh, I'm just going to speak briefly on the ANL Legislation Repeal Bill 2019 tonight. And uh, it does sound like that the Senate will vote in favour of this bill, correcting a long-standing oversight associated with the 98 sale of the ANL by the Commonwealth. As we heard earlier, the sale of ANL 21 years ago included the rights to business names, intellectual property, and domain names, etc. However, the continuing existence of the ANL Act and the ANL Guarantee Act poses a statutory bar to the current owner's comprehensive use of those rights. Now, this repeal will remove any restrictions on the use uh, protected names by the current owners of ANL. At least the coalition is willing to take action to help one shipping line. If only Australia's maritime industry could say the same. As uh, Senator Stirl and others have said on this side, uh, Labor is a strong supporter of Australian shipping. When we came into government in 2007, we took uh, steps to reform the shipping industry, consulting widely with industry and unions, and eventually in 2012 passing the Coastal Trading Revitalisation Australian Shipping Act. The Coastal Trading Act sought to, le to level the playing field for Australian shipping industry. It offered, as my colleagues uh, Senator Stirl and uh, McCarthy wrote in 2017 in the Rural and Regional Affairs and Transport Committee report, quote, a stable fiscal and regulatory regime, one that would encourage greater investment and promote international competitiveness in Australian shipping. The 2012 reforms that were led by the former Minister for Infrastructure and Transport and now the federal leader of the opposition, Anthony Albanese, included measures like favourable taxation incentives to encourage flagging of ships in Australia. It encouraged employment of Australian seafarers and funded a maritime skills development package. We took these steps because Labor recognises the importance of a flourishing and vibrant shipping industry to our future. A strong shipping industry is critical to our strategic position in terms of both economics and national security. We need a thriving domestic shipping industry in this place. Almost all trade to Australia is carried by ship. 99 per cent, in fact. We have the fourth largest shipping freight task in the world. And as our commodity trade expands, international shipping is becoming busier. Our cruise industry is also growing rapidly. Not only does this explain how critical the industry is, but it also shows the extent of the opportunity that shipping presents to our economy. Sadly, that's an opportunity that the current coalition government over the last six years has been determined to squander and to our detriment. In the four years between 2013 and 2017, 12 Australian vessels reflagged to foreign states. Today, there are just 14 Australian flagged vessels operating domestically and internationally, and less than one half of a per cent of our seaborne trade is carried by Australian flag ships. Not only did the coalition vote against the reforms back in 2012 and overseen six years of neglect of our maritime industry, they have twice attempted to pass legislation that would have undermined Australian shipping industry, legislation that would have seen the demise of employment opportunities for Australian seafarers. It's clear to me and other senators on this side of the chamber that the coalition simply does not take seriously the potential for and the regular occurrence of exploitation of foreign seafarers in Australian waters. The coalition government has tried to push their reforms, which have inflicted enormous damage on the Australian shipping industry through the parliament twice in the last six years. And what Australian seafarers and the shipping industry stakeholders need to know is that unlike senators on this side, my, uh, on that side, me and other ALP colleagues support the Australian maritime workers and Australian flag vessels. That is why Labor is committed to stopping the abuse of temporary shipping licences that this government has allowed to go unchecked and in breach of the existing legislation. When it comes to licensing foreign ships, we are committed to prioritising the national interest. We are committed to work towards a strategic fleet of Australian flag vessels necessary not just for the future of a successful Australian shipping industry, but essential to call upon in times of strategic importance. Labor is committed to a vibrant shipping industry, to a maritime industry that serves the national interests, that is profitable and strong. We are committed to ensuring seafarers in our territorial waters are free from exploitation and wage theft. 
We are committed to a shipping industry that provides good jobs with proper pay and conditions. Madam Acting Deputy President, Labor will never support measures that undercut and undermine the Australian maritime industry and will continue to draw attention to this place and the attention of the Australian community to this government's continuing neglect of Australian maritime workers and Australian flagged ships.